So, uh, a Lotus is a pretty good looking car. It's a fun car to drive. But quality has never been one of the facts of life when it comes to owning a Lotus. And I think that the same can be said when it comes to the stock headlights. Would you agree, Mr. Val? I agree. So, uh, we got Val from Overlit Customs on the scene here at TRS today. And he just completed a job on this uh, Lotus Elise. And, um, you know, he actually got the job because the owner of the vehicle contracted some no-name, you know, body shop, his go-to mechanic or whatever, to do the retrofit. The guy just completely fucked it up. Shit happens. And, you know, got a hold of uh, Overlit to fix all of that work. So Val is, is near to finishing this job, and we figured it'd be cool just to show you guys exactly what he did to the car. Um, it's not exactly the same components that were even used on retrofit version 1.0. But uh, Val, show them what you did with the headlights. It's a pretty cool setup. I definitely like what you did with it. I think that it would be certainly very useful for the owner while he's cruising around in the middle of the uh, night. So basically for the low beam and high beams, you have the uh, Mini H1 7.0s. And then for the, I guess they turn on with the low beams, it acts as somewhat of a DRL. You have the, the Morimoto XB Universal Fogs uh, just to fill in that extra space. Um, the original setup consisted of quad 7.0s, but obviously he didn't have the space for that. He didn't want to cut into his hood, so we just replaced the second set of projectors with these fog lights. Yeah, I mean, you can see basically if you zoom in on this a little bit, there's next to no space behind that fog light down there. And I, I mean, I literally laughed out loud when I saw this first retrofit because the way that this dude mounted the projectors in there originally, it was another set of 7.0s, like Val said. They were like literally pointed down at the ground just so the back of the projector wouldn't hit the inside of this headlight bucket. So uh, laughable at most, but undoubtedly this setup is going to be super bright for low beam. Plenty wide for him, especially with those LED fog lights uh, as a supplementary beam. And the high beam should be killer too with the 7.0. Um, so I'm sure he'll be happy with it. I think you still have to mount the lenses on there, obviously. Yeah, it's not gonna, not gonna be a naked retrofit. Exactly. And uh, what do you do, do you uh, prism or pivot halos on there? Pivot halos. Pivot halos. So uh, we're gonna let Val get back to it, finish up his work here on the car. We'll get a little bit of footage on that and show you how it looks when it's all wrapped up. Get this thing out of here, it's been here for too long now. <laughs> so uh, we'll let him do his thing.